What's up, YouTube? Erod 212 here with another video. So this past weekend, Bronx Kong was in effect. What did I pick up? All right, so, you know, last Saturday, uh, Bronx Con 3 was the, in effect, and it was a great time. They had two levels. They had cards, collectibles, knickknacks on top of all the comic book vendors there. You had people like Streetside Anthony and Kyle's Comics, uh, NRG Comics. There were just so many great vendors there. My man Dario was set up there. I believe that was like his first time selling right there. Um, a bunch of good people from the community. Uh, Pops and Sons, who's changed his name. If you uh, remember what, uh, if you can, and you see this video, please leave a comment because he changed his name and he gave me some great deals. So I wanted to show you that. But you know what? Before I show you the books, let me show you the floor.
All right, so that was it, man. It was popping. It was it was a good, good time. Great setup. Uh, had a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. But more than that, I got to shop. And there were some good, good, uh, inexpensive books that could be picked up, as well as expensive books if, you, if that was your flavor. A little bit of everything for everyone. So I, I picked up uh, from one dealer right there, uh, Wonder Man number one, his first ongoing series. X-23 Target X. Uh, what issue is this one? This is number five of six. This was a mini mini series. Um, was it Brandon Choi did these covers? And number six. Look at that cover. Just amazing covers. Really like those covers. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then, let me see. Oh, yeah. Here you go. This was it. Uh. Tomb Raider, gorgeous, gorgeous, Adam Hughes cover. So underrated, these covers. And then uh, Chase, um, John Tyler Christopher, very early negative space variant for uh, Amazing Spider-Man right there. That's a great cover. Um, book has picked up a lot of heat. Then like I was saying, my man Dario was set up there, got to meet him and his son, uh, met his son for the first time. And he had some amazing books. Um, he had an FF5 there, 1.8. Uh, he had some big boy books there on top of bronze, silver, a little bit of everything. Great mix, which is what I like. And uh, he gave me three books. I, well, I got to buy three books and he gave me a fantastic deal. Uh, I have two of them with me now. The other one I'm working on, pressing and cleaning. And uh, picked this up from him. Made you Spider-Man 61. And this is the first cover appearance of Gwen Stacy. And Amazing Spider-Man number 93. I believe this is the second Prowler cover appearance. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there was another vendor there. Had some good stuff there. I picked up this really nice Submariner number 58. Submariner is coming. And you don't find the Bronze Age stuff anymore the way you used to. Just the drying up. And I love this cover here. Uh, Submariner number 68. Look at that thing. That is just a badass cover. Oof. Show you that guy right there. And uh, last book I picked up from that guy was Thor, God of Thunder, number, what is this? Uh, four, right? And that's the second appearance of Gorda God Butcher. Wow, just a nice book. Look at that King Thor sitting on his throne. Love that, really nice. And now uh, this is, these are from um, the one vendor I mentioned, it was Pops and Son, and I changed, he changed his name, he told me his new company name and I apologize for forgetting it but please leave a comment and uh that way everybody knows who you are and they can look for you at the next show you set up because this man always brings amazing books um so this was just some minor stuff he had in his bins I picked up this Marvel premieres a uh, weird world weird world this is issue number 38 Marvel premiere put out some great great uh first appearances or first solo stories they did a Wonder Man one uh, the big one is Scott Lang, but you get the Alice Cooper story in there. The Falcon had a solo series in there. Paladin, just a, a whole bunch of different people. Um, this was sitting in a bin right there. And that's uh, America number two. And this is the homage to the Beyonce uh, photo. So nice. Signed copy of Agents of Atlas number one, signed by Greg, Greg Pak. Uh, how can you pass that up with the Midtown Comics COA? Uh, Marvel Premiere 12, early Doctor Strange uh, solo series before he got his own title. Um, you know, I love my Wolverine. Uh, just some great Wolverine variants right there. Issue number uh, 54. Oof, look at that. Love that. Uh, issue number 53. And issue 52. Really like that. It's got that little bit of red in there. Uh, you can see it right there. Just the, just the, the hint with all that black and white. It looks really good. Uh, great Alex Ross cover. I remember when this came out, everybody went ballistic for this. Amazing Spider-Man number 15. Uh, Mary Jane Watson as Iron Spider. Just a good cover. Daredevil 151, like I said, Bronze Age Daredevils, people are scooping them up. 
you're not seeing them. 152, pull out an appearance. Uh, Mr. Hyde, and Cobra appearance. Black Widow appearance, great color. Talking about that Marvel premiere, here we go. First appearance, uh, first solo series for Wonder Man. Big spec on Wonder Man, one of those characters that hasn't popped in the MCU yet. There were hints at him. You might see him somewhere down the line, integral part of the Avengers uh, for a while. How about this? And this is the first uh, Star-Lord in comics. This is a Marvel Spotlight on issue number six. So he appears in a magazine first, then here. So this is the comic book version. A la uh, what happened with Rocket. This is issue seven, which is the second part to that. Rocket comes from a magazine. First appearance is what, 340, I believe it is, an Incredible Hulk. Um, and then now, here come the bangers for me. This is just good stuff. But picked up this really nice copy of All-Star Comics number 58. And this is the first appearance of Power Girl. Uh, Mid-grader, just an underrated. These bronze DCs, so underrated. I, I like picking them up. I just think somewhere along the line, uh, DC is going to get it right. Looks like they're going in the right direction now. Hopefully, that stays the same course. Just was talking to some guys, and they were telling me, I was talking to my man, Aaron Knight, and they were saying that uh, the talk is now that um, Al Jordan and... Um, I'm, trying to, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, the other Green Lantern, uh, the Afro-American Green Lantern will not be in the series because they're saving them for a movie, so they're going to use Guy Gardner. So, John Stewart, excuse me. So, that's interesting news. I like that. I think John Stewart and Hal Jordan for a movie would be amazing. Guy Gardner's that antagonistic kind of guy. You might bring in Kyle Rana too. So, it should be fun. Hopefully, it's done right. Now, here go the two bangers I picked up there. Picked up Swamp Thing, number 37. First, John Constantine, just a Audi. And a low-grade copy of a book I, I, I believe somewhere we'll see its day. And that's Strange Tales 169, a first appearance of Brother Vu. So those were my purchases. And guys, all gave deals. There were deals to be had there. It was unbelievable, the deals that were there. And I made a trade. Had a young man who was looking to make a trade. I don't usually do a lot of trades, but he was, you know, a, a young guy, knew what he was looking for, was in, into the hobby. So I always like to keep it moving. And he had a book he wanted. I had an X-Men 120 and an 8.5 and a Silver Age Fantastic Four book. It was, a, I think it was 71. It's like Silver Surfer cover. And he wanted those two books and he had this, this for trade. And it, it worked for me, and he was very happy with it, so we did the deal. But I picked this up from him. Uh, that's Avengers 48. And this is the first Black Knight. Um, this book has been, but still, I believe this book has legs to grow. Uh, Dane Whitman, once you see him as the Black Knight, this book will get, you know, a, a spike again. So that was the trade i made I, I thought it was just a great show i mean when you can go to a show and come away with a stack like that and not an empty pocket man that's just great uh shout out to lone wolf for the great show that he did uh, make sure that you guys are you know subbed up to whatnot sign up man because i'm doing a bronze age show next saturday the 18th i believe it is and uh I'm giving away an ASM 238, 9.6. So you're gonna wanna be there. Uh, just, there's a link in the description. If you use that link and you sign up, your first purchase, you get $10 off your first purchase. So you get a free book for 10 bucks, basically. Might as well use that link, join up, get on mine, and you have to be subbed up, you have to be on there. So if you subscribe to me, you live in the US, you have the opportunity, if you stay there for the auction, watch the auction to win a major book so uh that's it for the video for right now i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it check these videos out because there's always good content on these videos and until my next one peace